Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share my August 2021 TBR. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the ARCs that I have left. I will link the video that I did of my August ARCs down below. I had five and I will have managed to read two of them um, by the end of July. So I will have three left and those are Say It Out Loud by Allison Varnes, um, Fast Pitch by Nick Stone, and Last Witness by I can't remember. I'll put it there. <laughs> um, I have at least one buddy read, pretty sure confirmed, and that is um, Keeper of the Lost Cities, Exile. This is book two in the Keeper of the Lost Cities, um, middle grade fantasy. And um, I'm going to be reading it with Krista at Books and Jams. And I'm also going to at least be participating in the discussion of the Lunar Long that is hosted by Bookshara and A, A Star Reads. I've read the Lunar Chronicles before. I love the Lunar Chronicles. Um, I don't know that I'm going to reread Cinder. Um, I loved Cinder, but then as I read the other books, it became my least favorite in the series. So it's not like readily available to me at the moment. And I have other books that I want to read. So I don't know that I'm going to reread Cinder but I might. So either way, I want to be involved in discussions. So there you go. There's that. Then um, <laughs> I have the buzzword a and the buzzword for August is a time of day in the title. And I've been meaning to get this one on my TBR. So I'm really excited to get every and every morning the way get home, the and Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Bachman. Um, I've been meaning to get a Fredman Bachman, Fed Frederick Bachman on my TBR for a long time, for a while. And um, I found this at a thrift store. So it was in my thrift store haul in June. So it's a super short little spiff of a book. I have taken it with me so many times to so many places and then just not picked it up because I was reading other books, whatever. Because, you know, when you go anywhere, you pack like 10 books more than what you actually think you're going to need because just in case, right? So, and every morning the way gets, the way home gets longer and longer. The title is seriously longer than the book, I think. But anyway, I'm really excited to read that. And then, okay, uh, while I was on, <laughs> while I was on a live live reading sprint with Krista from Books and Jams, she um, challenged me <laughs> to take care of some shame I've been feeling about Anne of Green Gables. I have never read the Anne of Green Gables series. I read the graphic novel adaptation illustrated by Brenna Thumner, Thum, Thumler. Loved it. So I am finally going to pick up Anne of Green Gables. I have the copy for my classroom. And I also... Oh, oh, you guys. This is my cat from when I was growing up. Her name is Princess. She looks really mean. Because she is. She is a stinker. Oh, Obviously, I've had this book for a while. This was actually my sister's, I think. Um, but it is now in my classroom, and I went and picked it up so that I could read it. I also um, downloaded the, um, the audio on Audible. It's available um, at all times. Um with an Audible subscription, and it's read by Rachel Adams, which I think could be really good. So, um, 
let's just add more excitement to the fact that I'm finally picking up Anne of Green Gables, right? Um, so yeah, so I'm finally going to pick up Anne of Green Gables. The other one that she challenged me to read was The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Bru Kimberly. Brew Baker Bradley. This has been on my TBR for forever. Basically, she just told me to pick up a bunch of books that have been on my TBR forever that I want to read. So that'll be good. Um, Ada is 10 years old and has never left her one room apartment. Her cruel mother is too humiliated by Ada's twisted foot to let her outside. So when her little brother Jamie is shipped out of London to escape the war, Ada sneaks out to join him. So I have been wanting to read this book for the longest time. So I am going to pick this up in August. And the last book that she challenged me to pick up in August is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. And I'm going to do it. So I will also be reading that. Also, I did download the audio for that one as well. So these are the physical books that I have. Um, the Keeper of the Lost Cities, Exile by Sharon Messenger, The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly, Brew Br Kimberly Brubaker Bradley, Anne of Green Gables by Ella Montgomery, and, and Every Morning The Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Bachman, along with Say It Out Loud by Allison Barnes, Fast Pitch by Nick Stone, The Last Witness by that person, Svetlana Alexinovich. I'll put it up there if that's wrong. And The Hobbit. So how many is that? Eight. Eight books. I um, think I'm going to be okay. I was able to complete all the books on my TBR last month. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. So I'm really excited for this TBR. I think it's going to be good. Um, yeah. For Krista's um, patron book pick, it is um, The Memory Keeper's Daughter. And I've already read that. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to read that again, but I might just because I can. So yeah, that's what I know of so far today. Very excited. I would love to hear what you're planning to read in August. Um, and why, because why do we pick up the books that we do? Right? So let me know down in the comments. Subscribe if you would like to. Like this video if you would like to see more. And as always, I'll see you later. Happy reading. Bye.